Recently, we had to call upon the expertise of our friends at Hamilton Specialist Referrals for their help in repairing a hedgehog's broken leg. Having anaesthetised the hog, x-rays were carried out to confirm the severity of the injury so a plan could be made. So you can see that the, the tibia is a simple fracture but the fibula is actually in, in three big pieces. So he came in yesterday? Uh, he came in nearly a week ago. Oh. And was he brought in by a member of the public? Yeah, yeah. It amazes me, for all the people out there you think that do, do horrible things to animals, we're so lucky in that, you know, every single patient in Tawaf is somebody yeah. that's stopped yeah. and taken time out yeah. of their day to help a, a wild animal. You can see the colours. Mm. Yes. So the knee. Yep. And you have quite a lot of colours here. Mm. I'm not um, surprised. So we might try to do just a tiny incision here to see if we can find the edges of the bone. Mm -hmm. and then I try to align it from there. Hmm. In order to stabilise the fracture site, Ricardo set about inserting an IM pin. This is a metal pin that sits in the centre of both bone fragments, holding them in alignment whilst the callus forms. This one is, the distal part is more challenging because it's, it's significantly less uh, wider. Said that you don't want metal left in. Yeah. yeah, but the iron pin can be removed at a later date if you need to. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be um, tricky though to remove after, but at least this should help us aligning, mm. aligning the bones together. Yes. So that's it, so the IM pin is in there, so we'll now get to work on closing up the surgical wound and putting the external fixator on. The next step, known as an external fixator, comprises of at least four pins that are screwed into the newly realigned fragments. This structure prevents the bones rotating, ensuring that the fracture heals in perfect alignment. Ricardo had to work quickly and carefully to ensure the pins were inserted correctly. With the bone already damaged, one slip could cause a catastrophic, irreparable split. So, I think that we should, what we should try to do now, we should take the, uh, an x-ray to assess the alignment. Hopefully we will not get any surprises. The x-ray looking much more promising, all that was left to do was suture the wound closed and secure the frame in place. By folding the ends of the pins and encasing them in a special putty, the repair was held fast to allow the healing process to begin. Surgery has been done, the hedgehog is now in recovery. A massive thank you to everybody here who have done such an excellent job and stayed late, not only done this um, pro bono, but stayed late on a Friday no less to fix our little hedgehog. After five weeks of recovery, it was finally time for Sally to remove the fixator. This is always a nerve-wracking time for the team as we wait to see if the hedgehog had regained full mobility. So, X-Fix has been removed. Um, it all went very smoothly, which is fine. It all looks fabulous. We've given him just a bit of anti-inflammatory pain relief for this evening because moving all those pins through tissue will have caused quite a bit of discomfort. And hopefully over the course of the next week we'll start to have a nice walking hedgehog. So this is the hedgehog that came in to us with a broken back leg and you obviously can't let hedgehogs go with broken back legs. So we sent him to Hamilton Referrals who did an amazing job, an external fixation, um, to get him back to the wild again. Somewhere in here, in the most massive hedgehog nest I've ever seen, is a hedgehog. But he could be literally anywhere. And so far, Oh yes, there's a hedgehog, look, a needle in a haystack, just about. So Poglet, you're all mended, you've got a good back leg now, everything works, you can go back home where you belong. Yeah! 
Come on then, sweetheart. It's a very big hedgehog. He's obviously been eating very well. Obviously, be overfeeding him. There you are. And it's quite good because the sm he'll smell that anyway, so we'll put it out with him when he goes. And hopefully, he will go back and live a happy, long life. Is this where you found him roughly the first time? or? Yeah, so that's where we've got the uh, feeding station. Oh, okay, cool. Right, come on, let's get some of this straw. <laughs> he's very fat, he's yeah. been eating way too much. Right, now let's see how quick he's going to go. There you are, Poglet. Look, you're home. I'm just going to put a little bit of his straw at the back yeah, there yeah, so yeah. he knows his smell, which might just possibly help him when he goes. Now this is where we sit like lemons for about an hour and nothing happens. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.